Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be going over VLANs part two, where I'll be configuring trunks and access ports on Juniper devices. Now, over on the right-hand side, I have the VQFX appliance, which will be representing the configuration done on QFX series EX, as well as SRX series devices. Over on the left-hand side, I have my VMX appliance, which will be representing the configuration for MX series devices. Now, just to give you a summary of what this topology is, the goal is to have PCA in VLAN 10 with IP address of 10.0.0.1 to be able to ping PCB with IP address of 10.0.0.2. All right, so just to get started, I'll hop on PCA and run a ping to PCB to confirm that we don't yet have connectivity between the devices. And as you can see, the ping request timeout. All right, to begin the configuration, I'll hop over to the VQFX and configure the link to PCB interface XC003 as an access port for VLAN 10. All right, now that I'm on the VQFX, I'll navigate into the edit hierarchy of the configuration and now I'll issue the command show VLANs. Here we can see the data VLAN with the VLAN ID of 10 that we'll be assigning to interface XC003. To bring this to life, I'll issue the command set interfaces XE003.0 family ethernet switching. I'll issue a question mark for contact sensitive help. The parameter we'll be using here is interface mode. Mode. And I'll configure this as an access port. Now I also need to specify the VLAN that'll be assigned to this access port. And I do that by specifying the VLAN parameters. So I'll issue VLAN, another question mark for context instead of help. Members. And here is where I specify the VLAN that this access port will be associated with. Data. All right, that is configured. I'll now configure on the VQFX the XE000 interface, which is a part of the trunk link connecting over to the VMX appliance. All right, so that is done on the VQFX appliance. We'll give it a commit and quit, and we are all set. All right, so now I'll jump over to the VMX appliance, and I'll start off by configuring the interface between PCA and the VMX device, which is interface GE003. I'll move up into the edit tier of the configuration. And if I do show bridge domains, we can once again see the VLANs that are already created on this MX appliance. So set interface GE003, family bridge. The question mark for context instead of help. We see again the interface mode parameter that we need to specify. And this will be an access port. I'll hit the up arrow, backspace to bridge. And now here on the MX device, uh, this is an access port, so we'll be using the VLAN ID parameter. VLAN ID. Which, in our case, is 10. Now I'll configure interface GE000 for the VMX side of the trunk link. Set interface G0, family bridge. Do an interface mode, trunk. All right. So the command that we'll be using is VLAN ID list. And this is because typically when you're using a trunk, you have multiple VLANs that need to be permitted across that trunk link. And I'll specify 10. All right, that configuration is now in place. I'll give it a commit. All right, so now if I hop on PCA and show IP, again, I have the IP address of 10.0.0.1 and I wanna be able to ping PCB on 10.0.0.2. And it works. 
All right, that is the end of the video. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, thanks for viewing and I'll see you in the next one.